but you need something. You got a problem. Move along, buddy, move along. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go <laughs> oh, in no, Copa No, no, I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where I could check out. You can't get what I need there. You. <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I...
let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With D Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step on his status. Yes, sirs, and no, sirs, and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline, or we're not going to make it. I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. I pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know, who 
Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that, that's, that's when I really wanted to, that's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still have my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Exactly. Things are going to get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We're getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And um, you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't going to run into them. You can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. This looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Wow. wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... 
It, it, it's the b- irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power is on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. made them so hyper aggressive makes them a pain in my ass i think we should be okay as long as we're quiet okay come on (laughs) what the hell happened here Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and that was with weekly maintenance. (laughs) Now it's been, what, two years? I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. Come on. 
There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Damn it! Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. Why don't you let me go in first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent-a-cop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Oh, 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 oh. Get down. Mother of fuck. You were saying? Yeah. Oh, this world is talking about anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. This is a... Stay up here and give me cover right fire. Do what you can. Shot. This train. Oh. I'll signal you when it's clear. If you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Her voice is driving me fucking crazy. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Got it. Whew. Okay. It's clear. Coming. Alert. Stay up here and give me cover. 
do it, you can't destroy it. Got it. I'll signal you when it's clear. If you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. With you there. Warning. Deadly hey, you! Force is off Look, whoever is shooting! Stop! Trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Finally. It's clear. Alert. Coming. Alert. Clear. Coming. We gotta get up those stairs and through the sky bridge. Warning. All right, Deadly I'm with you. Authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. This is authorized. You're not winning this thing. Now you're gonna pay. More ammo. You got this. Clear. Coming. has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will yeah. not be harmed. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time. Let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking Warning. voice response. Deadly force is authorized for use Whoa. against all Ready? trespassers. Warning, yeah. deadly force is authorized. Get this goddamn door locked out! Now! 
Tim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Alerts. Alerts. 911 has been called. Let's make sure it's clear. Police are on their way. Yeah, on it. Stand down and you will not be harmed. It's clear in here. Nothing here. Alert. Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Clear. Same here. <laughs> Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Okay, Deadly force is authorized. They're waiting for us in the atrium. Come on, let's try the door. Building. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override to see a fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Oh, fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need Alert. a better plan. Alert. Oh yeah, you got one? Are oh, well, maybe. Stand uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. There's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. Warning. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? All trespassers. Hmm, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they Alert. forgot the admin Alert. codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning, deadly force is authorized. I need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> alert, <sighs> alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple Ready? Yep. Security <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. <laughs> you kidding me? Saw someone. Oh, I know you're you. there. Answer me, God damn it! It's Sarah Whitaker. I worked here. Remember? Deacon Lee St. John. ID five four two nine zero zero nine. Good morning, Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Arm. This is your first love. Come on, get us. Disable voice damn response. Damn it, Jim, listen to me. Security. Oh, the hell with you. Here we go. Alert! Alert! 
Get in there. Has been called. Police are on their way. Stand and you will not be harmed. Deacon Lee, St. John, ID 5429 Good morning. Deacon, St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Iron Beauty Facility. This is your first login. Please disable voice response. Shut the fuck up. Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Okay. Oh, the hell with you! You should've left when you had the chance! Others, 911 has been called. We can fight! We can do this! Deacon Lee, Lee St. John, ID 5429009. Good morning, Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Facility. Disable voice response. Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Okay, here we go. Oh, the hell with you! Deacon Lee, St. John, ID 5429009. Good morning, Deacon Lee, St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Iron Facility. This is your first login. Please disable voice response. Get her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Here we go. What the hell with you? You should have left when you had the chance! Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down, and you will not be harmed. Move it back! Pull back! Alert! Alert! This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel is in this building. St. John, ID 5429009. Good morning, 
Deacon Lee St. John. What the? Welcome She's to Cloverdale Research Iron Man Facility. This, 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 this is your first login. Please. Come on! Disable Damn. voice response. Shut the fuck up. Damn it, Jim, listen to me! <laughs> okay, oh, here we go. What the hell with you? Deacon Lee oh, St. John, ID like 5429009. Good morning, it, Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome oh, to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte God, facility. This is your left, first you logger. Please. Disable voice response. Shut the fuck up. said hands all right all right just just tell me what you want okay all right he's clean we were just defending ourselves get down there all the dead people outside jim you know the ones you shot in the head i don't know what you're talking about <clears throat> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? Uh, we just couldn't take the risk. Get up. What? Wait, wait. I 
can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I classified don't know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have stopped it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, oh, hold on for a second. Sorry. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. <laughs> 